How wonderful this world of the night. A fragment of a fiery sun. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, Rejoice for the privilege to be found serving me. For I say, There are countless multitudes who will perish because they are not serving me. But I say, They are serving vice, they are serving deception, they are serving that which is darkness and loving itself. But I say, They are fools who are blinded by the God of this world, they are the captives of demons, they are enslaved to the same. But I say, It is me, the loving God, who is giving the call to any and all who will repent that they can indeed be made free by me. That is, they can be set free from demonic bondage, from the blindness, the darkness, the evil that they are in. But I say, when men will refuse the call to repent, I say there is the consequence of hell. And I say that is the inevitable for those who reject my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do desire that you would keep on proclaiming the kingdom of life, the kingdom of truth, the kingdom that does remain. For I say you are not meant to be as so many who are weak and wavering, falling away, all to their own dismay. For I say when men will choose to give in to the coward's way and allow themselves to be filled with the fear of men, I say they become useless unto me. And I say it is because they depart from the way that I ordain. But I say if you will continue in repentance, revolution, the humility way of life, then I say you will find that my strength is within thee. That is, it is me, the living God, who will bestow upon thee the strength that you have need of to recognize that it is me that you serve. And I say, you will likewise be able to banish all fears except the fear of me. For I say, it is the fear of me that makes a man walk upright in my way. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, will continue and continue to call men to repent because they are desperately needy of the same. And I say, when you hear the boasting, the scoffing, the mocking of the fools who are destined to hell, know they have settled it within themselves. That is, that they will live forever in torment and anguish, that they will be bound in hell that they cannot ever escape. And I say, they will be prisoners of iniquity because they chose the same. But I say that the ones who will be choosing to repent will be given the opportunity to come forth in newness of life, to be uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. And yes, they will be given the blessedness of truth that I provide, for it is me, the living God, who is able to give unto them the same. Therefore, I say this day when you see the wicked spread out in proud array, I say you are not meant to give up in despair. But I say you are meant to realize that the fields are growing riper unto harvest, and it is me, the living God, who does call you to labor in the same. That is, to continue to call men to repent, that they do not find themselves in hell, that they do not find themselves damned forever, but they can indeed be redeemed. For I say it is me, the living God, who is calling and calling and calling for men to repent. For I say that is the only remedy of the distress that they are in. That is, they are in the way of darkness and iniquity. They are in the way of foolery and vanity. They are in the way of their own damnation. And I say all the while they are wise in their own conceit, but I say they are utter fools. Now I say this day, let it be me that you continue to look to, that you continue to believe, to trust and obey. And let it be me who is well able to give to you the way of my life. That is the life that is eternal, the truth of who I am and the way wherein you are kept. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and the way of my mercy revealed. 
Now I say, therefore, this day, continue, continue, continue as a steadfast people who are ever counting upon me. That is, relying upon me as the source, relying upon me as the truth and the one who is able. For I say, it is through me that men will be uplifted, directed, and ever guided in my way. And it is through me that men will be given the light upon the path, for I am indeed well able. Now I say this day continue as a steadfast people who are ever hoping, believing, and looking unto me day by day. For I say if you continue in the way of repentance, revolution, then I say you walk in humility before me. And yes, you will be able to receive the instruction, the direction, and the correction that I provide. And I say that you will be able to follow after the truth that is found in me. I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to walk circumspectly. I do intend you to be ever thankful to be guided forth by me. And I say that I do intend that you would be walking in a way that I have ordained the way of my life. For I say you are not meant to be far from me, you are not meant to be found in the evil of these times, but I say you are meant to be coming forth ever directed by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. Now I say this day when you see what it is that I, the living God, am able to do, remember that I do it for those who walk uprightly in me. That is, the ones who will continue trusting, believing, and looking to me, I am indeed well able. For I say it is through me that you are given the light upon the path, the truth, and the hope, and the mercy revealed. And I say it is through me that you are directed, corrected, and guided forth. Now I say this day continue as a steadfast people who are ever hoping in what it is that I offer unto them. That is, as a people who will continue in the way of my truth and my life, my mercy revealed. For I say, if you will be coming forth in that which I give you, if you will be uplifted and directed by me, then I say you are guided each day. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, and the life, for I give you the same. I say this day, let it be me that you will look unto and believe. Let it be me that you will follow after. For I say, if you are continuing to walk in the way that I give you, then you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the opportunity to receive of the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I give day by day. And yes, you are given all that you need because it is me who is present to give you the same. Now I say this day you should not look at these dark and evil times as a time when you want to die because of the oppression of the same. But I say that you should indeed see the reality that it is me, the living God, who is separating the precious and the vile. And it is me, the living God, who is giving the call to the ones who will come unto me to come to me. And it is me, the living God, who is likewise sealing the ones who desire their sin above me. That is, the ones who will go on in their vileness, their corruption, their evil, their rebellion against me. I say this day be thankful for the privilege to call souls to repentance, for I say that is the greatest call that any man can receive. For I say that is the call that brings him from amongst the dead into the living, if he obeys the same. And I say it is the call that gives men newness of life, the way that I provide, and the hope that is found in me. And I say there is no greater achievement in a man's life than to be redeemed. That is, to be able to humble himself, to cry out unto me, and receive the mercy that I provide. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am bringing an end to the foolery, the debauchery, the contamination, and I say that I will do it my way. And I say that I'm allowing men to see the fruits of wickedness, to taste the evil of the same, and I'm doing it that they will be thoroughly sickened and run into me. And I say that I'm likewise allowing it to seal those who desire evil and iniquity above anything else in their lives because they are possessed of demons. I say that I'm sealing them likewise. That is, in the iniquity, the foolery, the vanity of their way. Therefore, I say this day it is not the time for you to be in mourning, but it is the time to be thankful unto me. That is, to be thankful, to be redeemed, to know the truth of repentance, and exercise the same. And I say that it is likewise the time to go forward in that which I give you day by day, for I am indeed well able. And I say it is the time to rejoice that it is me that you serve. Now I say when any man or woman will grow proud and high-minded, then I say they scoff my humility way. 
That is, they think they know a better way. They are vainly puffed up in their own understanding. No, they are fools. For I say, when men will choose the way of fools, they are choosing the way of their own damnation. And yes, they are choosing to be devoured and destroyed because they are far from me. Now I say this day that I don't have begun, never called you to destruction, but I say that I've called you to the way of my life. And I say that I've called you to be thankful each day that you can indeed be guided by me. That is, guided in the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength of who I am, and given my mercy day by day. That is, guided forth in that which I give you, which is the way of life. I say, therefore, this day, be thankful to continue, be thankful to walk uprightly, be thankful to be ever guided in me. And I say, be thankful that I give unto you the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. I say, be thankful that you do not need to be found in the way of the careless, the way of fools. But I say that you can come forth rejoicing that it is me that you serve. Now I say this day, let it be me that you continue to look to in faith, in trust, and confidence, for I am well able. And let it be me who will prove to be the life source unto you time and again. For I say, when you will truly consider the mercy, the life, and the truth that I provide, then you are guided forth by me. But I say, if you are looking to the weariness, the dreariness of the way of sin, you are looking to the way of death. I say this day, do not accept the way of the world in your life, for the same is the way of death. Do not accept the way of demons, nor the way of self. But I say, be accepting of the way that I offer, the way that I give to my own. And I say, be thankful each day that you can be directed, corrected, and ever guided by me. And I say, be thankful to receive the truth and the light, the mercy of who I am. Now I say this day come forth in that which I give you, which is my truth, which is my light, which is my mercy. And I say be made glad that it is me you can look to and believe. I say be made glad that it is me who does guide you forth in that which I offer to my own. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and truth, mercy and light, and the way that is peace intended. Now I say this day that I, the living God, call my people to walk uprightly, I call my people to be in obedience unto me, and I call my people to declare my kingdom whenever they can. That is, to seek for opportunities to declare the call to repentance to any and all that they can indeed hear and obey. For I say it is not up to you to decide who will hear, it is not up to you to decide who will obey me. But I say it is up to you to continue to declare and declare and declare, for it is my time to call all. I say, be thankful for the privilege to walk in the truth, to walk in the light, and continue in me. And I say, seek to keep peace among you, that is, in the unity of my spirit, that you can come forth rejoicing in me. And I say, do not be as those who pick apart what it is that I do, all to their own damnation. But I say, be as those who undergird encouraging one another in my way. I say, be thankful that you are given the truth and the light. Be thankful that you are not found under Babylon's Jesus, only to end in the end of deceit. For I say that the end of deception is damnation of soul. But I say that the way of my righteousness reveal the way of my truth. My call to repentance is meant for those who will hear and obey. That is, that they will come in out of the darkness, the dreadful way of their own understanding, into the glorious light that I provide that they will be uplifted, ever strengthened, and guided forth by me. I say, be thankful even now to continue, be thankful even now to be brought forth and directed in my way. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. And I say, when you are coming forth in my way, then you are uplifted each day by me. And yes, you are given the strength, you are given the light, and you are given the mercy. I say there is nothing more that a man should aspire to require in this life except what it is that I give unto him, for I am the merciful God. Now I see, say when you see the ones who seek for their own way, yet claim they are mine, I say they are hypocrites who are desiring the way of death. But I say that the true ones will desire the way of my life. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled at the people's feet. You are the light of the world. The city set up a new world.
God is relentlessly putting forth the call to repentance, revolution, and ecclesia in Gavagia. Are you willing to answer the call, or do you just want to play church? Now's the time to take action and get active in the war to rescue souls. The greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you can't do. So don't get it in your little head that we're going to stop.